All right, I'm working on my car. It's a rear wheel drive SR20 VET. And I tore up some camshafts and I was trying to figure out why I tore up some rocker arms in the process. And it turns out that I wasn't getting oil pressure to my head. Uh, to the head studs, oil pressure goes around the head stud and I have half inch head studs. And I guess when we drilled my head, it fits too tight. So the oil can't go around the head stud and get up to the head. So I was about to pull the head off and get those drilled out because I'm pretty sure that's my problem. So pretty much, this is how you can check to see if your head is getting oil pressure. Or if you're not getting oil pressure and you want to run an external line from down here or from maybe here or my oil filter housing, you want to run a pressure line right to this, it'll oil the head just fine. And you don't got to take the head off and redo the studs. The only issue with that for me is... My intake manifold, you see that little circle right there? That's that plug. So I'd have to machine out a circle, but there's really not space for that. So either figure this out, machine this out, or pull the head off and get it drilled. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? All right, so I had to take my head off my SR. Now I'm gonna tell you why. Got the head over there. Found a couple things. My stupid uh, screamer pipe was cracked and this just kind of fell off when I was taking things apart. So that's interesting. <clears throat> so, the reason I took it apart is because I was hearing a noticeable noise in the head. And I was convinced it was valve train related. And it turned out, if you look at this cam lobe, it's got some ridges on the edge of it. This one's starting to get some, that one's starting to get some. So I have an oiling problem to the head. But what is it? Why isn't my head getting oil? So after talking to Mazworks and doing some research, I realized that, if you walk over here, uh, this is oil pressure to the head, and this is oil pressure to the head. It goes through this little galley right here, and then it goes up through the head stud. Well, I have upgraded head studs, so uh, when we did the mods for such upgraded head studs, see there's an oil galley right there. You see the hole that feeds your head. Upgraded head stud. You see how tight it fits? It's too tight. There's not enough oil getting around it to go up to the head. So this one and that one are far too tight. So I got to expand these holes to like 17, 30 seconds. Just give it a little extra space so the oil pressure can go around the stud and up to my head. So because of that, the head starved, took out my cam, it took out some rockers. You see my rockers are ruined on the small pads. So I got some new rockers, I got some new cams, going with the Kelford uh, 184T, they're big boys. Um, and so I'm doing some upgrades while I have this thing apart. Everything looks good on the head. Normally you'll see some detonation on the quench pads or some pitting and it looks pretty good. I haven't really seen anything. Uh, I'm going to clean this up. The head's going to the machine shop and getting um, hot tanked, drilling out these studs. And then I got to reshim for the new cams. Another thing I'm thinking about doing is making a new exhaust manifold because this one is just a pain. The whole turbo kit, it fits really good, but it, you have to assemble it a certain way. And like switching my turbo takes like three or four hours and it shouldn't. So I'm thinking about making a long runner manifold that'll come up here and place my turbo like in this area, like right here. That would be super cool. I'm looking at the materials to do so. I haven't made a manifold in a long time, but uh, definitely thinking about doing that. Another thing I did is I cut this piece of exhaust out of my car. Cause as you can see, I had a three and a half inch downpipe and then this nice apex exhaust turned into three inch and then it turned to three and a half after that. So I was kind of choking it and it has that muffler 
my car was extremely quiet. Like, people couldn't believe it was running when it was driving it. So, I'm going to straight pipe three and a half inch all the way. Um, if I do the turbo up here, I might go out the fender or something, but I don't know. I might just do a full exhaust. I haven't decided. Another thing I'm going to be doing while the car is down is I have a brand new steering rack. This is like the Adam LZ rack that he has on his website. And I got the classy Volvo power steering pump set up right here. Got the line. I got everything I need right here in this basket. So that'll be nice. Haven't had power steering in the car in a while since I've been driving it. So that'll be good. Another issue that I came across was this runner has a fat crack in it. It goes all the way around. You can see it. So I don't know if I'm going to weld that up. It looks like it's been fixed before. I'm either going to weld that up or I talked to Mazworks and they have a one piece stack design where all this is billet and I can cut this off right here and weld this back on. But I got to get this sandblasted to do so. So I'm, uh, I'm either going to weld on new runners or just re-weld that. We'll see what they want to charge for that piece. So all in all, my goal is to get the car back together with the new cams, figure out what I'm going to do with the intake. Uh, I'm probably going to rearrange my turbo kit because it's just a pain to work on. Uh, my bottom end looks good. It's probably ready to go for more power. Um, really looking to make 750 to 800. Uh, 750 is my goal. I want to run a nine second pass with what I have with the S366 turbo and the CD009 gearbox. I also have a Q45 rear end with 350Z axles, but I think the gearbox might hold me back because I have to shift to fifth gear in the quarter. But if I can run a 9.9 with what I have, I'd be happy. And then, um, you know, I might change to a G-Force four-speed gearbox or something along those lines. I might also change to a 6870 turbo. Um, that would be nice. Or maybe a 6466 for a little bit more response. I'm not sure. I just want to get this set up to work and see what I can get out of it. And then kind of move forward with uh, everything else. Um but yeah, looking forward to get the car back together. I haven't driven it in probably a month or two. It's been on the lift, just chilling. But uh, yeah, really hoping for some results and some more power. It made 640 last time, like at 26 PSI. But our injector duty cycle was a little high, so there's something going on with one of my pumps. So I'm probably going to put new fuel pumps on here too. And then, you know, get back on the dyno. Should be able to run 35 pounds easily and you know, get into that nine second bracket that I'm looking for. And that'll be that. Really looking forward to getting the car back.